But like I said, y'all let me know what y'all think. Got plenty of room right here on the, from the fender. Plenty of room back there. Plenty of clearance to turn so I can make full turns instead of having to cut it short like I was with them. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new to the channel, I would like to welcome you to the TTG family. Now before we get started, I need y'all to do me a favor. Like this video up, you feel me? Hit that like button. Then once you finish doing that, subscribe to the channel if you're new, turn that post notification bell to all the way, y'all be notified every time I drop. Then, once you finish doing all that, watch this video all the way to the end, where you will see on my end screen, the last video I posted. Click on the last video I posted and like that video too and just keep repeating that process, you feel me? Now in this video, we're going to be testing these 20s to make sure they'll fit. Even though I, I know they fit because these are the 20s that, or the wheels that my dad had on this car before he parked this car. But I just want to go ahead and test them and for one, see how they'll look in person, you feel me? Because I ain't never got, to, I ain't even get to see it on pictures or nothing. I just want to see how they'll look. I like spoke wheels a lot. I don't know why I just really do. That's one wheel that I really like, like gold spoke wheels, or you feel me, just even chrome, just all chrome. I just really like spoke wheels. Now, don't 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 mind the color on the wheel. The color is still green. We haven't changed the color of the wheel yet, but we're gonna be stripping the paint off of them, off of the wheels. Now, the reason they're green is because my dad, after he took them off this car, he parked this car, he put them on another car before he sold that other car. And he had them painted or a paint match to the car so they still green but other than that man we're gonna be ended up stripping the paint off the wheels anyways and if they fit and they look good i'm gonna go this week and try to get some tires and hopefully i can get them tires for ten dollars a piece like my uncle did you feel me so hopefully man that's a prayer i'm praying for that but other than that man we're gonna get right into this video i don't want this video to be too too long even though i know it's probably will but yeah man I, I hope they fit well I, you know hope i know they're gonna fit because they was already on this car but i hope they look good you feel me i really like wire wheels and this is where i probably will keep on the car if if they look good if not i'm gonna upgrade it you feel me to a bigger size wheel and then we're gonna do it like that you feel me but other than that man we're gonna get right into it like i said hit that like button subscribe to the channel if you're new turn that post notification bell to all the way i'll be notified every time i drop catch y'all when we get outside all right guys so for those of you that are new this is the 20 i'm trying to go with or the 20 my dad had on here already as well i just need to strip this paint off so we're gonna be trying to test fit these these are stocks and the reason why i want to get these tires off is because how bad they're dry rotted and the mechanic told me ain't too much longer until they bust so why not act fast so i already took the cap off all we gotta do is sit this on here wrong one there you go sit that on there throw the wheel on and then you cap it off with this cap you feel me so yeah let's go ahead and get to work like i said i ain't trying to make this too long that's why i already took the stock wheel off I'm trying to make this pretty quick because i also want to test the front too and i really just want to see how they look on this car so yep yeah. That's what we're doing. And there's so many freaking nets flying today. I don't know what's going on. But yeah. Hopefully they fit pretty well. Don't do no rubbing or nothing. So I can go get the tires this week. And then we go get inspected. Go and get this car inspected so it can finally have its tags and stuff and be back on the road. So. Yeah, like I said, I'm excited and I'm ready because I really want to drive this car. Like, you feel me? Not even just to show it off, but just drive it anyways. I just want to drive this car, you know? So, and I know this lug is too long, so I'm going to end up getting another one of these lugs. But I, this is just a test fit for today just to see how it's going to look. So, like I said, I already know I need to go get another lug. 
I'm gonna get another one of these lugs because how long this one is, which this is my wheel lock. So I didn't really want to replace it, but gotta do what you gotta do, you feel me? You gotta make sacrifices. Make sure it's centered. Gotta make sacrifice. Now I'm not gonna tighten these up too much because this not permanent because ain't even no tires on the wheels. The wheel I showed y'all the tire is halfway off anyway, so yeah. It's, it's nothing permanent. This is just a quick little test fit. And we're going to take them literally right back off and throw the stock back on. And this car finna sit. The only thing I'm really finna do is make sure I start the car up every day. So it'll keep running. You feel me? And let that old oil and stuff cycle out. That's what the mechanic told me to do. I might not have to take these off. But I'm pretty sure I will. Because it's too long. Just, just a hair too long. You see? Just a hair. If that little, this little piece right here was gone, then it probably would. But that's all you do. You literally just put that on. It's like a spacer. And then you screw the wheel on. But again, this is the wheel that we will be trying to put on this car. So, And the tire is not too, too thick. That much thickness, which is perfectly fine. So I'm going to try, like I said, I'm going to try and get some tires for it. So go ahead and try and test this wheel. Riding down the street on a bike. Alright, yeah, put this up in there like that. And like I said, the color's not final. This is the color just that my dad I had got the wheel painted. I'm gonna end up changing this color. Yes. It don't rub. Which I'm like I said, I'm pretty sure I already knew because my dad had this on the car. And the wheel not gonna tuck like this. This is just because of the way I got the jack on. I couldn't put it on the diff because it was leaning up the driver's side, not this side. So I just went ahead and put it like that. So that's the only reason why it's, it looked like it's tucking like that. It's not going to tuck like that. I'm, I'm already telling y'all, but it don't rub back there like the other wheels I've tested do. And honestly, let me try and twist this cap on just a little bit. I'm going to have to get the tool for my dad too to lock this to get that locked up tight but guys honestly that look that look really good i'm gonna take another picture guys y'all 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 let me know what y'all think that's that's gonna be the rear end that's how it's gonna look it's not gonna tuck that much well it's not gonna be that low i should say but it is gonna be like that and that's the wheel and like i said i'm gonna change the color Look like it's a lot going on. We got blue, we got brown, we got yellow, we got green. <laughs> just wait until we, the, the final product. It's gonna be a little minute, but just wait for the final product of this car. I got, I got a vision. And my vision, my vision is including these wheels. I'm not even gonna lie to y'all. Maybe a bigger set, but it's definitely including some spokes. I don't know, they just grew up. Like I said, I, I've, I've always liked spokes, but I just didn't know if I wanted to put them on any cars. Like, I like the wheel, you feel me? Don't get me wrong. It's a beautiful wheel. I just didn't know if I wanted to put it on any cars. But let me go ahead and throw this stock back on, take this off, and then I'll meet y'all up front to test it up there and see how it's going to look in the front. And I, like I said, I, I'm, I knew it wasn't going to rub. The only thing I'm afraid of is when they put the tire on, is it going to rub any? Because I don't know if these are the tires my dad had on here. That's the only thing I'm afraid of, is if they put that tire on, is it going to rub any? That is what I do not know. But, we're going to figure it all out. Like I said, y'all let me know what y'all think about the wheel. This is what we're going to be going with for now. And hopefully I don't be wasting my money when I get the tire put on. So, yep. Yeah, catch on when I get the front wheel off. And we get ready to start the front. All right, y'all, so got the wheel off, as y'all can see. And just put this on there. Oh, no, I messed it up. There we go. So let's go ahead now and tighten that on down. You feel what I'm saying? Straight up like it, y'all. Try and make this pretty quick again. And once again, 
I already know I gotta change my lock out. I'm not gonna be able to use the lock. Or if I do, I'm gonna have to find an open face lock instead of the, the closed, you feel me? I can't twist it on. Can't get it started, there it go. Get this one started. All right, there. Just tighten these on down just a little bit. Like I said, I'm not gonna do it too, too much because it's not permanent yet. Or temporary yet. It's just a quick look glimpse to see how it will look. Bro, it's so many mosquitoes and nets, bro. Oh my gosh. Like I said, something quick just to see how it's going to look in the front anyways because I want to make sure it don't rub because the 22s I got on are rubbing the fender liner right here. So I just want to make sure everything going to be good, which I know it should be because these tires are smaller and it's a smaller wheel. It's a 20. So try to make this quick, like I said. All right, got those on, and I already know about my lock, so it'll be all right for now. And I know the tire is the wrong way. These will be on the driver's side. Do what this one will be anyways, on the driver's side. There's something inside this tire. I knew I was hearing something. Newspaper. Ain't no telling how long that's been in there. I'm just sitting, you know? This stuff, this wheel not that heavy either. I was thinking this wheel would be a lot heavier. But it's not, it's really not that heavy. I don't know y'all, I, I really like the spokes on this car. I'm not gonna tighten it all the way down. I really like the spokes on this car, y'all. Y'all let me know what y'all think. It's a little dark over here, but yeah. And the gap won't be that big. I, I, I can't let it down because the tire is not all the way on. So let me get another picture because that looks really good. And I'm going to show my pops. And I know he going he gonna to smile. You feel me? Just because these are the wheels he had on this car at first anyways. So like I said, y'all let me know what y'all think about it. I really like them. And I cannot wait to try and find some tires. And it ain't gonna rub anywhere, and it looks really good. Now I go to caliber. I'm gonna end up painting the caliber too, and wire brushing all that rust off, or trying to as much as I can, anyways. But like I said, y'all let me know what y'all think. Got plenty of room right here on the, from the fender, plenty of room back there, plenty of clearance to turn, so I can make full turns instead of having to cut it short like I was with them. Yeah, y'all let me know what y'all think, man. I think these wheels are so dope. I don't know why they just I just really like but I always like spoke wheels. And I don't I didn't like them too too big. But I just really like them on old school cars. So like I said, y'all let me know what y'all think. That's gonna be the little setup, how it's gonna look. It's gonna tuck in really good. Yeah. So like I said, y'all let me know what y'all think. I'm gonna take this back off, put them back in my car, and this week we're gonna be searching for tires. And I'll catch y'all for the outro. Alright guys, so like I said, it's going to be the end of this one. I appreciate y'all for tuning in. Y'all let me know what y'all think about the spoke wheels. Now hopefully the next video y'all see will be us tire searching for tires for the spoke wheels. So that's going to be the next thing we're going to do. Because like I said, I need tires, you feel me? It don't matter if, it's, if I find stock tires first or if I find the tires for the 20s first it really don't bother me just as long as i find tires so if i find tires for the stock wheels first then i will be putting the stock wheels back on then if i find tires for the 20s we're gonna be throwing the 20s on so within the next couple of videos that's what y'all gonna be seeing we're gonna be either throwing the 20s on or we're gonna be throwing the stocks on so i hope y'all ready hope y'all ready to Let's see what we're going to do because honestly i don't know yet like i said we're going to be going tire shopping this week so yeah 
this week we're gonna be going tire shopping we're gonna be looking to find looking to see whichever tire we can find with if that is the stock tire or if that is the 20s the tires for the 20 so like i said y'all let me know what y'all think about the wheels me personally i really like them spoke wheels i'm sorry y'all it's a fly in here and it's, it's really bothering me it's aggravating me you feel me but man other than that man i appreciate y'all for tuning in y'all let me know what y'all think about the wheels the wheels i really like them you feel me and that's, that's what i'm trying to throw in the car at least for now anyways like a temporary setup so i appreciate y'all for watching y'all hit that like button subscribe to the channel if you're new turn that post notification bell all the way y'all be notified every time i drop gonna be tire stopping this week getting the car inspected this week so like i said we got a lot coming and once we get the car inspected we can do a lot more cleaning up on the car because i can actually drive it to like a a car wash to get like a vacuum you feel me so yeah i hope y'all ready and we got a lot to come man i appreciate y'all for watching it's gonna be the end of this one i'll catch y'all on the next one